Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my question is for the Minister for Resources, uh, Minister Canavan, and it's a question relating to the climate destroying and job killing Adani coal mine. Uh, now, the ABC. No, no, listen to this. You'll, be, you'll, 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 you'll like this. Order on the, my AB, right. the ABC last week uncovered that the company structure of Adani means that at least $3 billion in royalty rights and even more in assets can be diverted to tax havens owned by the billionaire Adani family. So even if the project goes bust, Adani could sell it to someone else and yet royalties would still be paid into the Adani family's Cayman Islands account. Now, does the minister agree with the assessment of financial analyst Adam Walters that this is a structure that guarantees the Adani family will be enriched while others are impoverished? The Minister for Northern Australian Resources, Senator Canavan. Thank you, Mr. President. No, I don't, uh, Senator Di Natale, but I thank you for your question. Uh, Senator Di Natale, I just want to take issue at first uh, with your description of it being climate destroying and job killing. Uh, clearly, the, a coal mine will generate thousands of jobs in North Queensland. It, I don't know the last time, uh, Mr. President, that Senator Di Natale visited. North Queensland, but if he has had visited in the past year, he would have heard from local businesses, he would have heard from tourism businesses as well. They need to have more jobs, more opportunity and more business in their communities, and he would have heard of the overwhelming support for this coal mine in North Queensland. The other point to make, Mr order. President— Pause the clock. Senator Williams, a point of order. Yeah, point of order, Mr President. I'm very interested in the answer that Senator Canavan is delivering. I can't hear for interjections from screaming across the other side of the chamber from the Greens. Could you please bring, in, bring them to order so we can listen to this very important answer? Yeah. Thank you, Senator Williams. It's a good point to remind all senators uh, to not interject and to allow the questions to be asked in silence and the answers to be given. Senator Canavan, you have the call. Thank you, Mr President. Uh, I was going on to also dispute Senator Di Natale's uh, opinion that this would be climate destroying mm. this project. We are lucky in this country and should be proud that we have some of the high, highest quality coals in the world. Uh, and the rest of the world will be using coal-fired power for many, many years to come. The more energy intensive, the higher quality the coal that they use, the fewer emissions there will be. So it is a good thing for the world if we as our country can develop our coal industry and replace the coals that are used from other countries, which are much lower quality. And I, it is widely accepted that the coal in India in particular is of lower quality than that coal that Adani will mine here in Queensland. So that's a good thing for the environment. I also think the Senate should know, Mr President, that Adani are not new to Australia. They are a company that has operated here now for six years. They have operated the Abbott Point coal terminal just near Bowen in Queensland. Uh, and if the allegations and suspicions that Mr. Dean, the Senator Dean Natale, sorry, is making are true, it would be apparent in their corporate behaviour over the six years, you would think, and I'm not aware of any allegations Thank you, Minister. or the investigations of that question matter. has expired. Senator Dean Natale, a supplementary question. Given that neither the government nor the Labor opposition refused to rule out pouring a billion dollars of taxpayer money, that's money that belongs to ordinary mums and dads around the country, into assets that will be owned by Adani's rail line company, which we know can be shifted straight to the Cayman Islands. What is the government doing to ensure that future taxpayers don't simply end up in the family of a notorious multinational tax avoider? Minister. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, well, uh, the, f the first point I'd make is what we're doing as a government, Mr. President, supporting a robust and and, and strong corporate tax regime. The government has made a number of changes to strengthen that corporate tax regime to make sure that companies in this country do pay their fair share of tax. And I certainly expect uh, and will do everything I can as a minister to ensure that companies that make profits in this country pay their fair share of taxes. As I, as I mentioned in response to the first question uh, to Senator Di Natale, Mr President, uh, uh, Adani are a company operating in this country right now. They have operated a large coal terminal uh, in Queensland for six years. Uh, and if, again, if there had been allegations, if Senator Di Natale has allegations of Adani not paying their fair share of corporate tax, please, I'd be interested to hear them. And the government would, of course, be looking to follow those up with the Australian Taxation Office. But, Mr. President, to my knowledge, there have not been such allegations. I expect all companies in this country to pay their fair share of tax. Uh, Adani, no, no different than any other company. 
Thank you, Minister. Senator Dean Natale, final supplementary question. Thank you, Mr. President. We know that um, Adani are just simply going to transfer the price of the coal out to another subsidiary. They're going to do exactly what BHP and Rio do. None of the big miners have got large income bills, income tax bills. We know that. We know that Adani is going to be no different. With no taxes and diverted royalties, I just ask you a really clear question. How much do you expect the Commonwealth to collect from the Adani Group? Minister. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, well, the government doesn't make pre de 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 precise details or estimates of individual companies' allegations, uh, Mr. President, but I do take issue, I think, with one statement that uh, uh, Senator Di Natale said in that question that somehow the miners, I think he said, don't have big income tax bills or, or tax bills to the, to the Commonwealth. Uh, the mining sector is the largest contributed to our corporate tax system uh, by, by, uh, by sectors. It is, it, 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 and, 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 and Senator Cameron, you're right. Absolutely. So they should be, Senator Cameron. They, they do make a lot of wealth for our country and they do pay a significant share of their uh, profits in tax revenues. This nation it helps fund important things across our country and that's why, as a government, we support uh, further investment in our mining sector that can help grow that sector, uh, uh, grow our economy, create jobs and provide even more tax revenue to the Commonwealth Government and State Government so that we can fund important public service services uh, in this country. Uh, uh, Mr President, I'm confident this project will provide those benefits in both taxes, jobs and, and other services.